Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in this video we're going to be talking about another discovery coming from the galaxy that we live in, the Milky Way. In a very recent discovery, the scientists actually found out that apparently we were kind of wrong about the mass of our own galaxy. And that's of course a little bit surprising because that's kind of like not knowing the total mass of your own home. Now, in their defense though, it's actually a lot more difficult to try to measure the mass of our own galaxy than it is to measure the mass of nearby galaxies, because basically, we are somewhere right here in the middle and we're trying to observe the entire galaxy without really leaving it at all, and that's very very challenging. Now, for the longest time, we actually thought that our galaxy was a lot less massive, but turns out it's a lot more massive than we knew. Now, it doesn't mean that there's more stars, it actually doesn't mean that there's more visible mass, it's not the so-called baryonic matter we're talking about. We're talking about other mass, the invisible mass, the dark matter, the elusive dark matter that we still haven't really discovered anywhere, but we know that it's there because we see the effects. And so the scientists behind this study that you can actually find in the description below did something really interesting. They essentially used the so-called globular clusters, which is essentially the very large collections of stars, like for example this one right here, NGC 6441. So these globular clusters are relatively easy to see and also, because of this, it's relatively easy to measure their velocity. And the scientists behind this paper um, used the data from the Gaia Observatory that has been collecting data on billions of stars in our neighborhood and creating the three-dimensional map of nearby um, space around us. And uh, this is actually some of the data that has been used to predict what's going to happen in the future. That's how accurate this data is. And it of course includes some global clusters near us, and so they used uh, 34 of these clusters discovered by Gaia and tracked by Gaia, but also just to confirm their results, used 12 more global clusters um, also observed and tracked by Hubble telescope. So they made sure that their data was very very accurate. And what they discovered was that, well basically it turns out that these global clusters were moving faster than we expected. And because they were moving faster than we expected, but still staying within the galaxy, basically something was actually holding them within the galaxy, that only meant one thing. There is more dark matter in our galaxy than we originally believed. So they had to recalculate the assumption for the dark matter to discover a new value for the mass of the entire Milky Way. And this value now stands at approximately 1.5 trillion masses of the Sun or potentially even higher at 2.3 trillion, that was their highest um, value that they've discovered so far. Now all of this was based on the fact that uh, when they calculated the speeds of global clusters, they were moving at around 206 kilometers per second, way faster than expected. Meaning that our own galaxy is at least two to three times more massive than we originally thought, but more interestingly, Milky Way also seems to be potentially twice as massive as the Andromeda galaxy. And of course for the longest time we believed that this was the opposite. We actually thought the Andromeda galaxy was twice more massive than the Milky Way. But this recent discovery suggests almost the opposite. In other words, um, we are currently, it seems at least, the most massive galaxy in the local region. Milky Way is literally the center of the local region, at least for now until we discover something completely different. And I guess it's kind of fair to ask, so why is it that we keep changing these values all the time? How can we go from thinking that Andromeda was uh, twice as massive, but, but now we think it's the opposite? Well, it's because of the so-called dark matter. The visible matter is actually very easy to see. Obviously stars are relatively bright, so it's relatively easy to statistically estimate how many of them there are in the Milky Way and in the Andromeda. But this stuff is invisible. This stuff doesn't interact with anything. We don't really know how much of dark matter there is, or if it's even real. And we only see the effects, and the effects are quite obvious. And these effects tell us that, well, for the most part, in the Milky Way there seems to be more of this invisible stuff, whereas in the Andromeda there seems to be less. So the total mass of the Andromeda is thus twice less than the Milky Way. 
And this is actually good news, because essentially it means that we're discovering these new techniques that allow us to study the universe and space around us with a lot more accuracy than before. Using um, things like Gaia Telescope, for example, allows us to very accurately predict motions of nearby objects. At the same time, telescopes like Hubble that have been working for decades and decades are still discovering new things even today. And with 2019 being a pretty good year for space discoveries so far, I think there's definitely going to be a lot more things that we're going to find out about the universe in the next few months. So overall, I honestly actually really, really love these discoveries because it kind of redefines our understanding of everything. The science is evolving, the science is changing, and so is our knowledge because you can't just always believe in the same thing. We're still pretty young at trying to understand the world around us, and we can't just settle for one thing. We have to always try to reinvent ourselves and also try to change um, the way that we learn as well. So because the science is doing just that, I'm actually very happy at making these videos and always correcting, well, I guess you can call it mistakes, but not really, because we just didn't really know better. Yeah, of course, initially we thought that Milky Way was not as massive and Andromeda was the giant nearby, but now we think it's the opposite. And that kind of makes us learn about everything. So anyway, on that note, uh, let's come back and talk a little bit more about galaxies in some of the future videos. But for now, that's it. Check out the paper and the discovery in the description below. And also uh, subscribe if you still haven't. Share this video with someone who enjoys watching space videos. And come back tomorrow to learn something else. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out and as always, bye bye.